Good morning, lovely people. Day three of Lenormand 201. And today we are looking at the near and far method. We have done the top three cards, we've done the bottom four cards, and today we're going to look where other things are in the spread. I know a few will be wondering why we're not doing the houses yet. Houses are not essential. I know a grand tableau does have its houses, but we do not need to do them every single time. We're looking at different techniques. We will cover the houses um, in a couple of days. But for now, just leave it without, please. So we're doing the near and far. We're going to look where our querent lies in the spread. That is you in this particular spread. Look for the lady or for the gentleman and have a look what's around there. The reason we do near and far in a spread is because the cards that lay directly next to the querent are the cards that have the most influence or uh, their meaning is stronger, if you like. I have something, a little bit of fun. Shall we have Lord Business? And we have a dragon sword. You can tell I have two boys. So, near and far. Not so dangerous really dangerous. It's that simple. So when we're looking at the cards, the danger or the meaning of the card is amplified the closer it comes to the card that you're looking for, the significator. So the further it moves away, the less influence or the less um, strong in meaning <laughs> <laughs> for want of a better word. I'm very good at explaining, aren't I? So, really strong meaning, lesser meaning. But then, if you're looking for a significator, let's see what's here. The bunny. Say the bunny is lady. I'm sorry, these are things that are laying around here. Uh, bunny chocolate is your significator. If that lays over here, with Lord Business over here, you can see that the danger is closer to the bunny than it is to Lord Business. So it will have an influence on the bunny and a lesser influence on Lord Business. He's pretty safe. Should we have a look at the cards? Because that is, after all, what we're working on here. Um, just found a bottle of water on the last night. Don't think I'm going to get it. Okay, we'll use that one. What do we have? Stars. Do I have stars? Let's find a card that we can put next to card, uh, next to stars. Where do we find a lady? So we have lady as our significator, and we have the stars. And the stars will have a direct, really strong meaning on the lady being next to her. As we move it further away, it's not as strong. Let's try and find a good one, eh? I should have prepared this before. Oh yes. Not so bad, really bad. So, if you think back to our daily reads, we're doing a similar thing where on a daily read you would tone it down to your um, day to fit it in. So, size wouldn't be 
like major surgery unless you've got it booked in um, it would have a lesser meaning to fit the day and that's exactly what we're doing the further we move it away we're giving it a lesser degree of danger or um, even happiness or the further it goes away you see in this case the further you move away it has a more negative reading to it or a lesser less positive let's put it that way okay so again think of your daily reads how you tone them down and think of uh, when it's closer kind of code red pay attention and you can also um, we will be covering it in the course you can look for other cards around as well so you look for your significator which is uh, your querent and then if you want to know about their love life for example you'll choose significators to represent the love life and you can look around those as well just a tip and uh, yeah get posting I'm really loving looking at your duties have a wonderful day, everybody.